So the Adidas Samba, the Gazelle Indoor, and the Hamble Special. Which sneak is the best? I get asked this question all the time, and I've owned all three for quite a long time now, so I thought I'd make a video to answer that question. I'll be talking about the differences of each shoe, the sizing, the comfort, and a lot more. And I'll also let you know whether I think any of the pairs are worth picking up today, or should they be left in 2023? If you like this video at any point, please feel free to drop it a like, that would be lovely. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the sneakers. So let's talk about the differences of each shoe first. Now there's no doubt about it, all three pairs look very similar. Well, one of my pairs is in green, but if that was in black, they'd all look very similar. But there are some key differences to each shoe, so let's talk about them. And let's talk about the materials first. So typically, the Samba comes in leather with suede overlays, whereas the other two pairs come with full suede uppers. Of course, you can get each shoe in different materials, but this is the most common makeup of each shoe. And when it comes to shape, the Gazelles do have a slightly different shaped toe box to the other two pairs. The Hambles and the Sambas have a more round and longer toe box, whereas the Gazelles is more angled and shorter. And to those of you who might be worrying about the toe room in the Gazelles, don't. This is just for aesthetic purposes. So you've still got plenty of toe room, the same amount as the other two pairs. I also think the Hambles have got a little bit less structure than the other two pairs when it comes to the toe box. The camera might not pick it up that well, but it's a little bit flatter and a little less sturdy. The laces that come with the Hambles are rounded, whereas the other two pairs have wider and flatter laces. And while we're talking about laces, the laces on my gazelles are ridiculously long, and I really don't like long laces. But I suppose it is what it is. But on the plus side, the gazelles do come with a second pair of laces in white, which can look really nice. My blue pair came with a white pair of laces and a blue pair of laces, whereas my green pair just came with green laces. So I'm not sure if they forgot to put the white ones in, or that particular model doesn't come with white laces. But if you know, then do let me know. And I don't know if this is just me, but I think for from a bird's eye view, the Hambles look a little bit wider than the other two pairs. Maybe it's the rounded laces, or maybe the laces don't pull in as tight, but I don't know, let me know what you think. And with the soles, the Samba and the Hambles are very similar. They've got that dark gum sole, which looks really nice, but the Gazelles come with a lighter and more transparent sole, which I really like. I do much prefer the sole on the Gazelles over the other two pairs. I think it looks a lot cleaner and a lot more stylish. The foxing on the Gazelles is a different shape to the other two pairs, and I do prefer it on the Gazelles. I hope that's called the foxing, and if it's not, then the suede overlays, basically. So overall, I do prefer the shape of the Gazelles over the other two pairs, so one point to the Gazelles, I suppose. But we're not done yet. Colour plays a huge role in the look that each shoe gives off. So let's talk about that next. So with the handballs, I think they look great in black and bolder, brighter colours, but I don't think they work well in white at all. I can't put my finger on why, but I think they look a little bit tacky in white. I just don't think they work that well. But let me know if you agree or not. Of course, this is just my opinion. If you love them in white, then of course get them in white. But all I can give you is my opinion. With the gazelles, I think they work best in brighter, bolder colours, and the neutral colours don't excite me much. I just think they look a little bit dull, Unless we're talking about the collaboration pairs, well, some of them, like the Blondie pair, for example. I really like the look of those. And when it comes to the Samba, I do think these are the best all-rounder when it comes to colour. I think they work well in most colours, they come in the most colours, so you've got the most choice with this shoe. Also, if you're looking for a simple, white, clean sneaker, then definitely go for these and ignore the other two. I think these work so well in white. But let's talk about comfort and sizing next. So for me, Adidas do run true to size. I wear a size UK9 and Nike, Vans, Reebok, and the same in Adidas. But as I always say, do try them on for yourself because everyone's feet shape is different. You might have wider feet than me. And when it comes to comfort, if I'm trying them on straight out the box, they all do feel quite similar, but after long periods of wear, it's a different story. I find the Sambas can get quite tight around the laces area and they can get quite painful to wear. It might be because the leather's a little bit tougher on the Samba and the mid part of the shoe is a little bit narrower than the other two pairs. This might just be a me thing, but if it happens to you as well, then do let us know. I also found that back heel tab was an absolute pain in the heel when I first got them. It rubbed all the skin off my heel, there was blood in my sock, it was an absolute mess, and I definitely didn't look cool walking down the street in these. After about four or five wears, that problem went away, but it is worth mentioning because it was pretty brutal. I also find the handballs can get a little bit tight at times as well, but uh, yeah, the gazelles I've had absolutely no problems with. Also with the 
gazelles, the laces don't come up as high on the shoe, so your foot doesn't get locked in as well as the other two pairs. So at first when I compared them to the other two shoes, they did feel a little bit looser, but this might be why they're more comfortable. But just a side note, if your main priority is comfort, then it's probably best to look elsewhere. These are low profile sneakers, retro style sneakers at the end of the day, so there isn't that much cushioning. Anyway, let's talk about styling next. So all three pairs, they're all very simple, they're all very basic, so they are easy to style. But it's the colorway you choose to go for that's going to make things harder or easier for you. If you choose a black pair or a white pair, these are going to go with pretty much everything. So if you don't want to think too much, then go for a pair of those. And this is what made the black and white Samba so popular. You can wear them with anything and they're probably going to look good. But if you want to go for a more colorful pair, then you do have to be a little bit more thoughtful with what you're going to wear with them. So if you're already wearing quite a lot of color in your outfit, a colorful pair of shoes might be a little bit too much and they might also clash with the rest of your outfit and sometimes if you're too matchy matchy with your shoes and another part of your outfit it can look a little bit too much as well but if you wear a lot of black clothing or neutral color clothing like i do then this isn't going to be a problem neutral colors aren't going to clash with a colorful pair of trainers so an all black outfit for example with a colorful pair of shoes is going to look great one thing i forgot to add in favor of the handles over the sambas in black is they do look a little bit smarter in my opinion the full suede upper just makes them look a little bit more sleek and yeah the sambas can look a little bit like an indoor football shoe i think i actually think the sambas might make a good indoor football shoe i think i might be onto something there but let me know what you think <laughs> but now for the big question should you buy any of these sneakers today well it depends are you buying these sneakers to jump on a trend or do you genuinely love them and only you'll know the answer to that. As we all know by now, these three shoes have been trending for a while, especially the Sambas, but I do think that trend will start to die out soon. And before you get angry at me, nothing can trend 100% of the time, but just because something is going out of trend doesn't mean you shouldn't wear it, and it doesn't make that item no longer stylish. Timeless and classic pieces remain stylish no matter what the trends are doing, and these are all classic shoes. The Sambas date back to the 50s, well, 1949 was the first shoe, but it didn't look like the samba today then you've got the gazelles in the 60s and the hambles in the 70s so it's safe to say these are all timeless shoes and they've stood the test of time this isn't the first time they've been trending and it's not going to be the last time either but even when these sneakers aren't at the forefront of current trends they're still widely respected and they'll always have a place in fashion anyway i think i'm going a little bit too deep into this and at the end of the day it all comes down to do you love them or not? And are you going to wear them even if the trend dies down? If the answer is yes, then there's never a bad time to pick up any of these pairs of sneakers. And which pair would I recommend the most? The pair that you love the most and the pair that you think you'll wear the most. And it's as simple as that. But I hope this helped and it didn't make things even more confusing for you. If you like this video, please do leave it a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. See you later.